How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. I'm very excited to bring you this review because if you guys cast your mind back to FIFA 17, Usman Dembele's team of the season for Dortmund that year, he was literally my favourite card possibly on any FIFA. I know you've got like 5 star, 5 star Zlatan, stuff like that, but Usman Dembele was just the most enjoyable experience I've had on any single FIFA so far. So this card, it came as a bit of a surprise. I really did not expect Usman Dembele in team of the season, but hell, here we are, boys. Here we are. This 94 in team of the season. What's it going to be like? Lads, we're going to find out today. So if you do enjoy it, you know what to do. Bring that hype. Smash that like. And let's see him for 1,000 likes on this review. That would be sensational. And if you're new to the channel, drop a subscription as well. Click the little notification bell to be notified of when I do upload on the channel. So tonight is the Champions League final. Liverpool versus Spurs. What I want you guys to do, because this is going to go before the final, comment in the comment section below. Liverpool or Spurs, who's going to win? And then come back later and edit the comments if you did get it right. Predict the score as well. But lads, we're here for Usman Dembele, so let's get into the review. So here we go. Now last night he was uh, extinct for 1.5 million. Since his price range did get up, I do believe so anyways, his price has actually dropped to the million mark right now on the Xbox. And it's roughly the 1.1 million on the PlayStation. As you can see, his price range in the top right. Well, it's not using his price range. His price estimate as of right now, 900 to 1.2 million on the Xbox and roughly the same on the PlayStation. He comes equipped with the combo, um, but it's not the five-star combo. It's the four-star skill move set and the five-star weak foot. Of course, FIFA 17, he used to have five-star combo, five-star skills and five-star weak foot no longer. They took his skill moves off him. Don't understand that in the site. He's got high to low weight grades and he has left foot primarily. Now, in terms of his card stats, they look phenomenal with 99 pairs, but... Um, yeah, he just looks fast, nimble, agile, and he is. Just look at some of these stats, man. Just look at some of them. Now, you've got to look at the downsides. The strength of 61, the composure of 79, the head and accuracy of 62, and they are all downsides to this card. But what are the upsides? Stamina 96, that is one. The dribbling category, 97 agility, 92 balance, 89 reactions, 91 ball control, and 99 dribbling. In terms of passing category, he's got 99 vision, 93 crossing for his wing play and whatnot. It's very good his wing play on this game. He stays out wide. He makes the right runs at the right times. He's great on the wing. He's got 92 short pass, 84 long pass, and 92 curve. In terms of shooting category, 96 attack and position with high to low work rates. That is very important. He's got 94 finishing, 99 shot power, 81 long shots, 94 volleys, and 93 penalties in the pace, which everyone talks about when you look at Usman Dembele, well, Dembele apart from the five-star weak parts. Of course, it's 99 acceleration and 97 sprint speed. So the chem star did apply to this card was Marksman. Now, I needed that to kind of boost it and areas I thought would go against this card and just look Oh, well, this card offers you, man. He's just, he's direct, he's great at dribbling, he can, like, glide. He glides, man. He glides through challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge. It's just so easy for this guy to do. I do get a little bit too cocky there with the drag back, and I do lose the ball. And then, gets a chance to shoot. It comes back off this guy's, I don't know, um, I'm not going to, it was Van Dijk's uh, never area, his uh, never regions. But uh, it's a cracking finish there from Usman Dembele. At the second attempt, lashing it right in the top ends with the shot power that it does possess, the 99 in terms of the shot power. It's just incredible. It's incredible. This card in a number of different ways is incredible, but I reckon it's more enjoyable than incredible, which um, it happens sometimes on certain games where you can enjoy a player, but his ability isn't all there, but you can definitely enjoy the player. And that's exactly what I would uh, um, kind of say about Usman Dembele on this game. He's very, very enjoyable. I did use the headliner uh, recently. I, I like that card. I'm not going to lie. I did like that card. Do I like this card a little bit better? Mm, yeah, yeah, look at this strike. Takes a touch, bang! Back of the net, sayonara, good night. Every single time, that is the lights off. That is the lights off strike there from Dembele. In terms of pros with this card, you've got the acceleration of 99, the sprint speed also, uh, because the top speed is incredible, 97. So, uh, is he that fast? Because with some cards in this game, they can have those stats, and then they don't seem that fast in game. He does. He does. He definitely does. Definitely, definitely, definitely does. As he catches that one, the back post, and swipes it home with the left peg over the top of the keeper into the back of the net. In terms of the best stats, it's all 99s. Shot power, dribbling, and acceleration. The worst being the 61 strength and the 79 composure. When it comes to the other abilities that he's got, of course, we've got to look at the 5-star weak foot because you're seeing it. 
every now and then, of course, his left preferred foot is the left foot, his uh, weak foot is the right, so he can blast them on both feet. So if you use them as lamb, you could pass the ball into it and do first time shots like that. Yes, that was six yards out, it's always going to go in, but uh, outside the area, that would be effective as well. It really, really would. So you can swipe them home on both feet, it's very, very good, very accurate on both feet, and uh, yeah, the five star weak foot will definitely be a pro with this card. And then we move on to the dribbling, because the dribbling is. It's very evasive. It's very, very evasive because he's so damn fast, man, and he's agile. So that means with the 97 agility, 99 dribble, and 99 acceleration, he's rapid. So damn quick on this game. As you see him, just lose his man there at the far post. Gets a foot chance, first time shot back of the net because I've seen the keeper slightly move to the left hand side. And um, I just put it in the near post, easy as peas. In terms of the dribble, and then he's, he's just great. And four star skills to add in there as well, just to throw into the mix. So you can do the stop and turn, you can do the lack of that you can do all of that too. Anything that's really required on this game, five star skill moves, not so much required, but um, they are not too bad in this game. You see a roulette across, and Ronaldo sapping into an empty net. In terms of the finishing, honestly, it could be a striker. Now, I know what you're going to say. Composure is 79. He's not going to be that great in front of goal. He wasn't that bad. He scored two penalties for me, but his goal scoring records was five games played, nine goals scored, and one assist. That's 10 goal contributions over the course of the five games. That's not bad. That is really not bad. So when it comes to composure, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I wouldn't let that stick in your mind. It happened with Sancho as well. Sancho would miss the, the opportunities on his weak foot from outside the area. But Dembele... He's got a five-star weak foot, so that composure really doesn't affect this card too, too much. But um, if you do want to kind of use hesitation, that will be a hesitant point. So in terms of the shot power, it's 99. Nothing to worry about there in the slightest. And of course, the wing play. Now, what do I mean by wing player? I mean what he plays as, as a left wing, lamb, left forwards, even left mids. Because what he does do is he hooks the touchline and then he uses his pace to get around the fullback. He makes those inside runs within the fullback, those kind of U-bend runs or what whatever I like to call them, V-bend runs or Z runs or zigzags, whatever the hell you want to call them, but he makes those runs and he makes them effectively on this game and he knows when to do it because one through ball is going to unleash the pace of Dembele and it happens all the time because the second you do a through ball, he's gone like the wind, he is so damn quick on this game and when it comes to cones, He's got one major one, and that will be the strength, 61 strength. Now, I did try to boost that. It wasn't, uh, like, um, it's, it's going to be a plus 10, isn't it? Or it's going to be a plus 5. I think mine was a plus 5 to take it to 66. You're not going to see the difference at all with that. If it was 71, you're not going to see the difference with that either. So your strength is always going to be a con, no matter what chem style you do put on the card. So that is uh, a con in itself. The head and accuracy could be one. He's 5 foot 10, 62 head and accuracy. He did score one header for me though. But um, if you were crossing at the back post, what I would tend to do is hold a left trigger. So you don't have to go for the header. Use the acrobatic volley or something like that. And with the agility that this guy's got, He's going to pull those strikes off, especially with the finishing as well, being 94. So in terms of strength, it does go against the card. He's got minor, minor cones going against him as well. So all in all, is he as good as he used to be? The answer is no. The answer is no. Yes, he relives the glory days somewhat due to the enjoyment that he brings, but ability-wise, it's not that there anymore. It's not that there anymore. It's not really there in terms of, bang, it's in your face, I'm this good on the game, it's not there anymore, he, he lacks the 5 star, 5 star combo, he, um, he lacks a lot of different things, so all in all, Usman Dembele, who I had high, high hopes for, will get written off in 9.3, which I think is fair for the card, it's fair for the card because he's good, he's great, he's sensational, but he's not, um... He's not the best left winger in the game. You've got like some Neymar, you've got Ronaldinho, you've got great, great left wingers on this game. But um, Dembele does come into that equation now, but he isn't quite there, unfortunately. This 94 rated team of the season came as a surprise to me, and so did the rating. In terms of value coins, I give him an 8.0, simply because over a million for this card is, uh, is bonkers. <laughs> it's bonkers right now. I wouldn't pay that for the card. I did pay that for the... The, the the review in general, but I'm going to sell them straight away. I think I've already sold them by the time you've seen this review. And um, yeah, lads, uh, I did enjoy the cards. He was good, but I just don't reckon he's value for coins at this moment in time. In terms of enjoying rating, he's got a 10 out of 10 stars, but in 9.6 in terms of racing, he's fairly enjoyable, man. So enjoyable from the dribbling to the finishing to the passing, his wing play to the pace that he's got, the movement that he's got. He's a fairly enjoyable card in this game. It just... He lacks in certain areas, which is quite frustrating to say the least. In terms of foot champ status, starter, substitute, or nope. 
he's getting a starter. You've got to start this guy. If you've got him in the left wing and you've got a La Liga team or anything like that, start Dembele, lads. Do me a favour, start Dembele and let him run right in the game because he's still a good player. He's a very good player. Um, like I've already said, man, is, um, yeah, in terms of links and whatnot, you've got Lenglet. And uh, the main one I would say right now, unless Lenglet gets like a tots moment or something like that, uh, Umtiti is 89 rated SBC card. Umtiti. In terms of the other strong links, you've got the likes of Team Leo Messi, Antoine Griezmann, French from outside of Barcelona, and of course, you've got the French icons as well Vieira, uh, Petit, Pires, Thierry Henry. you got uh, the, a good selection of players right there. And of course, for the weak links, you've got the French outside of La Liga. Or La Liga, that's not French and not from Barcelona. So the likes of N'Golo Kante, Kylian Mbappe, striker card, or players like that. Even Paul Pogba. I would give a weak link to this card. Some some players, I've got Hazard there, and this might be a bit controversial because you guys look at that and say he doesn't have a five star week, but it's nothing like Hazard. He dribbles very similar to Hazard on this game. So if you've used Hazard, you've experienced Hazard, he's, he's basically a Hazard with five star weak foot. So that is what I would um, attribute me putting Hazard as a similar player right there. In terms of key probably the pace slash. Five star week, but of course, the kick on will be the strength. And the best game style will be Marksman, as it takes him to a 97 left winger on this game. That is superb. In terms of the players in that position within that league, that's the best, in my opinion. Goes Vinicius Jr. Still higher than this card, which, again, it's quite disappointing. But Vinicius Jr., I reckon, offers you that little bit more in game. And, uh, yeah, it's just the way it goes in general. Uh, Dembele would come in number two. Uh, and then would seal off into a number of different players. Coutinho, for example, and players like that. In terms of the nation of France, Mbappe still leads the way. Foot birthday, Mbappe comes in number one. Thierry Henry, uh, Thierry Henry comes in number four, bringing up the rear. End of the era. Ribery comes in number two. I was going to see Henry at number two. Uh, at number three comes Tots Dembele. I reckon he is better than that icon Henry, but not better than Ribery or Mbappe. And lads, out of ten, passing eight, shooting eight, dribbling, it, it's, it's an eight as well. And the physicality is a six. And lads, that's where we're going to end today's review. Like I said, the Champions League is tonight. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys get your desired result. I'm a neutral. I don't care. I just want to see a good game of football. And I want to see a spectacle. So again, in the comment section below, suggest who you think is going to win. Suggest who you think is going to win. And come back later after the match is finished and re-edit your comment. You can edit comments on YouTube. Or just comment again and see if you got your prediction right. And uh, yeah, I'll interact with you guys on that as well. And lads, hope you have enjoyed. Smash a like if you have. Subscribe if you're new. And as always... I will catch you all next time.